fish out here, I smoked them. This bait's just OP. Let's go, stay on. Oh, it's a chunker, Fletch. Hello, hello, two in a row. Oh, no, snap! Good morning, fellow anglers. We are currently on my way to pick up my buddy, Matt. He's one of my good friends and probably one of my oldest fishing buddies, but we haven't fished in quite some time, so I'm pretty excited to link up with Matt today and do a little bit of bass fishing, and we thought we might bring it back to our roots. Basically today, I think we're just gonna hop around and fish a lot of the ponds that me and Matt grew up fishing. So I'm hoping with a little bit of luck today, we can actually come across some quality fish because the ponds that we're going to, me and Matt have caught some monsters. I'm talking six, seven, eights, nines, 10 pounders out of these ponds. We're probably gonna fish the pond that actually caught my PB in. So I'm super excited about that. I haven't been out there in a while and I know that pond just delivers every single time I go out there as far as finding a few quality sized fish. But outside of that, I'm just looking forward to fishing with Matt. Matt's a great dude, he's a funny dude, and he's predictable, I, I guarantee it. I guarantee it this kid has his freaking bass button down shirt on. It's like a red button down, I believe, with like bass all over it. He loves it, he wears it every time we link up to go fish. But we are getting close, so it is time to put this camera down. We have arrived. Let's go ahead and go get Matt. What's good? No bass shirt? What? No. no. I couldn't find it. <laughs> couldn't well, I got the second best hey, thing. Hey, I like it. I second like best it. Thing. Was that a Dale Arnhardt shirt? Of course. <laughs> oh, yeah. Need water? Uh, no, I'm good. I got one. Cool. Mountain Dew Baja Blast? Oh, hell yeah. Ooh, you got a car? Yeah, I did. I did. Uh, literally like last week. Yeah, no, I'm pumped about this, it. This isn't a 23, is it? No, it's a 22. Mm -hmm. I drive so much, though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. throw miles on this thing like you would not believe. I don't really get caught up in that because we're not selling anymore. Yeah, I was gonna say, y'all have it for a while. We have arrived, guys. It's time to grab some gear. Here you go, Matt. Grab the, uh, the old school twig right here. <laughs> And I'll give you an extra rod if you want one. Yeah, I'll take another one. This chatterbait's going ham today. I think let's just go ahead and start back here in this corner while it's it hasn't got hot yet. Let's Yeah, I want to try throwing this patroller back there, see if we can get a little top water action going. Definitely some activity. We got some fish swirling off the bank, a little little bait twirling around here. Last time I fished out here, I smoked them. I got like probably 10 fish over three pounds. Let's pop this patroller off and we're just gonna start fan casting around out here and see if we can't get something to commit. I feel like something just got a clobber this plopper this morning. I love throwing a plopper on the, like this, just the calm water. It's so like peaceful to listen to. What are those videos called with the sounds? Uh, a ASMR? Dude, you should make some bass fishing ASMR. There's like three I can think of. One is this sound right here. Two, the sound of a spinning reel's drag getting ripped. Oh, and then three would be the top water whopper plopper. Did you ever see that clip where I like caught that fish behind the construction net? Is that here? Yeah, they tore out the boathouse. Everyone was like commenting on my like that post. <laughs> Cause that post got like three or four million views on Instagram. Everyone's like, he put that fish in there. I'm like, yeah guys, I put that fish in there. You're right. <laughs> it's my pet. <laughs> oh, come on. Gotta be a little girth of somewhere back here. Yo, Fletch. Yeah. Boom. Sorry, I gotta get a content creator snap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want you to give this thing a sling. Give me your unbiased opinion. I hope I don't backlash this. That'd be embarrassing. Oh my <laughs> God. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'll be a little triggered if you catch one right there. I'm not gonna lie. This cast is in that same spot like five times. Well, I mean, you're not as good as me, so that's yeah, it's, it's all about how you dangle it, dude. Well, guys, I gave this top water a shot. I'll probably pick it back up at some point, but we're gonna switch gears to do a little bit of cranking, going to the tried and true, the two tap. That's what Matty Ice has got tied on over here. And that's what I'm going with as well. The two tap is just the, the gift that keeps on giving, if you ask me. So, I actually mapped uh, a little bit of the water out here with um, that sonar thing. Yeah, 
See, it's like just like a big flat out around here. So they probably sit right on that ledge. I think if we just take a bunch of bomb casts out here, we might get lucky. So now that Fletcher showed me the uh, information about the water, this is an easy <laughs> fish. Now I'm dialed. This is 100% a fish. <laughs> Oh, I got one. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, that is so funny. Let's go. <laughs> I was 100% joking there. I did not think I was going to get one on that cast. But looks like that fish is out there near the ledge. Let's go. It's a chunk. That's the way to start the day, boys. Come on in here, sucker. That's a nice little chunky guy. Healthy bass, not the monster we're after, but a great way to start the day. Probably about two pounds, maybe, just shy of it, but it's a healthy fish and that's what you wanna see. The main thing that I'm looking for when I'm out here fishing guys, when I do start to catch some fish, when they're a little bit on the smaller side, is just how healthy they are. How fat are these smaller fish? Because that is a great indication of how healthy this pond is. And this fish is fat as can be. Nice little chunk, really filled out well for its size. But let's go ahead and let this little girl go. Thanks, baby. All right, we're on the board. Some things never change. First, most, and the biggest. I call whenever the GoPro is just off. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's way bigger. I'm sure it was probably at least six pounds. A little smaller, probably only like five and a half. Let's moon launch this thing back out there. We're trying to get out as far as we can out kind of where that little drop off edge is. I think that's where a lot of these fishers are going to be hanging out. It's right kind of on the lip of that going in and out of that deeper area. These fish, when it gets really hot, they like to be in an area where they can go between shallow water and deep water really quick to kind of regulate their temperature. Dude, I know why you haven't caught one yet. You covered Dale's face. Dude, I know. We gotta Blatantly. Go. <laughs> Just gotta get his eyes off. Yeah. Colden came out here, he said like a week or two ago and caught like two off of this dock, which I'm surprised because I've caught, I think maybe one fish off like underneath this dock my entire life fishing out here. Oh, there we go, <laughs> right underneath the under dock. <laughs> I know, I know. I was like, let me, let me give it a shot. See if something will come out from underneath the dock. Sure enough, we got a, a little dinkster. This is Matt's PB. Actually, this is probably an ounce twice, bigger. Yeah, twice as high. Yeah. <laughs> like, there is zero chance this bass could eat a bait fish this big. I mean, it's literally like a third of the length of him. I don't know how he's planning on getting that down, but hey, I'll take it. I remember uh, I was fishing, I think it was like a walking bait of some kind. It was probably like a spook. And we were over there, I was like, last cast. And I just launched it into oh, the top yeah, of the edge. Just straight into the tree. Like 50 feet up in the tree. Dude, that was the, that was one of the worst casts I have ever seen in my life. I'll never, I actually thought that was hilarious. And you literally just looked at it and we were all like, that's not coming out. And you were like, that's not coming out. I don't even know how I managed to have that bad of a cast. That might've been my worst cast ever. Well, we gave this dock a good opportunity, guys. We bombed some crankbaits, some top water off, and only had those two fish. We're gonna walk around, or I guess should say drive around to this other cove where we've had a ton of luck. It's definitely the most productive spot in this, in this whole lake. And I'm thinking we can get the job done back there. Should be a quick, easy fish for Matt. Start off with the whopper plopper. I already know where, I, where I'm going. Oh yeah, where this rock is out here. It's almost always a fish or a snag, one of the two. Yeah. Should be like right out here. Let's see. Yep. <laughs> Let's go. Hopefully, hopefully that's not uh, all that's gonna come from that spot. That spot is insane. There's a pile of rocks out there just in a little bit of deeper water right as it kind of drops off on this bank. And these fish love to get up on it. Another healthy little chunk. Hopefully we can find a bigger one than that. Look at that big old swirl over there. That. That's that's peaking my interest, I'm not gonna lie. Here you go, bud. I, wanna, I want you to get one. There's probably more than one fish on this. See where there's like two little yep. sticks are right there? I threw that way too far, but that's yeah. okay. It's literally like right here. It's yeah. like 15 feet off the thing. And I got the rocks. Classic. Nice. 
Ooh. Hello, hello. Two in a row. Back to back. All right, I gotta adjust my strategy here. Oh, oh, okay. Later, bud. That counts. <laughs> it certainly counts. All right, Matt, don't let me pull away too bad here. Dude, I'm crushing you in the stick oh. department, though. That's two. That one over there was a hog. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this stick identifies as a large mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it's 2022, bro. Oh, gosh, got smoked. They're over here, dude. They are in the air. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you're bound to get one here any second. I feel like there's a lot. I gotta be careful not to cast this thing in the trees over there. <laughs> I, I remember back in the day, like we struggled to cast all the way across this. Do you think that you can throw farther now more because you've been fishing longer or because technology has advanced a lot? Uh, both. I think it's like one, having the right setup far as action goes and the right line on. And then two, you know, the nicer the reel, it's going to be easier to cast. The rod doesn't make a difference as long as the action is right. Nice reel does make a big difference. There's one. Yeah, come in here, bud. Mm. Let's go. Uh, definitely feels like a better one. It's pulling pretty good. Definitely got some size. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's a good one. That's three pounds all day, baby. Stay down. Oh, <laughs> that's a chunk. That is a chunk. Oh man. Why is the two tap so good, dude? I don't understand. It is unmatched. You good? Yeah, there's a look. I caught a oh, that's... knotted up fishing line. I'm getting doing terrible today. Well, I'll help you with that in a second, Matt. I'm gonna get this unhooked. Absolutely inhaled. That's our best one so far. This fish is probably approaching three pounds. I don't know if she's quite there. She just doesn't have the length, but good gracious does she have the girth. I mean, that is a chunky mamma jamma. You know what? Just for fun, we're gonna throw her on the scale. I think she's probably two and three quarters that's gonna be what my guess is dude what is that in his belly i don't know it's got is it like taking a shit? is that what that is i don't know what he's got going on i think it's oh it's a soft plastic well after further investigation here i've noticed this fish has some kind of little ned rig stuck in its belly i think i'm just gonna leave it because i don't want to do any more damage it doesn't seem like it's hurt in the fish but if there's ever something in their stomach or like in their mouth that y'all can take out without hurting the fish i definitely recommend doing it well let's put this sucker on the scale and see what she weighs two pounds 14 ounces almost three two ounces away from a three pounder and now that is what i like to call a good looking fish not that long but just a fatty man gotta love it when they're girthy like that too they fight so good Thanks, baby. Big old pancake. Well, as of right now, I don't see any reason to throw anything besides this two tap because they're destroying the thing. So let's keep it going and sling this thing out here some more. All right, Matt, you need one now. Fish it faster, I'm telling you. They're wanting it fast right now. I feel good about this cast. I don't know why. What do you think, Dale? Dale thinks it's a good cast. If I don't catch a fish, you're gonna have to blur my face out for this video. <laughs> do I dare switch to a worm? I think that's what you should do. I feel like that's your tried and true. Can you show me how to do a Texas rig? <laughs> yeah, man. Hmm. <laughs> These are salty. They sock it with just females or? I think I have one. There's one. Oh yeah, we got one. Oh baby. We're, yeah, just putting on a clinic now. Take notes, Matt. <laughs> oh no, he snapped. Oh, shucks, man. Gotta tie a better knot, Fletch. You need me to teach you the knot? Yeah, clearly I need one of your polymer, polymer knot tutorials. I must have had a fray somewhere from bumping this crankbait because I wasn't putting a ton of pressure on that fish, but sure enough, it came right off. I'm gonna run back up to the car really quick and grab another two tap because I'm out of them in there. Let's dive into the reserve tackle here. Honestly, just gonna grab a handful of these and bring them down and put them in my little box. Got two gold ones and two silver ones. My two favorite two tap colors. There we go. I just hooked a stump. Dang it. Well, 
There goes the second two tap. Oh yes, it came off. Let's go. Oh, that's so hype. Oh, oh, another stump. That's how oh, it came off again. No freaking way. Oh my gosh. Well, we got lucky there. There's a ton of stumps out here, guys, that are just kind of scattered out and about. Probably, I don't know, I want to say like 75 feet off of this bank and kind of out into the middle. And there's a bunch of standing timber as you get farther out there as well. I'm not sure if we're in casting distance of that or not, but I can sling this pretty far. So we might be, honestly. Like 20 feet. Yeah, I, I killed that. <laughs> Oh, I just got smoked. I got a little excited. I didn't let him swallow it. I have no excuses for my performance today, guys. Um, disappointed in myself. I've let my family down. I've let my fans down. More importantly than anything, dude, you're letting Dale down. Dude, Dale is distressed <laughs> right now. At least his eyes are covered so he can't see how bad I'm doing. Holy Okay, let's keep on moving down the bank. Let's see what we can find. We're gonna work our way out through this little point out here and see if we can't try between here and that island. This looks like a good place to get set up. Gonna give this a toss right out here. There's some like rocky stuff that runs right off the point of this. And throwing a crankbait in it is nerve wracking because I've lost quite a few in it, but we're gonna try throwing this chatterbait across the top. Well guys, we gave this a shot. I tried to mix it up. I tried to do some different things, but I gotta go back to the two tap, man. It's just, it's been unmatched. When in doubt, crank it out. And let's tie on this two tap. Watch this, we're gonna get one like first cast with this thing. <laughs> it's been too long, my friend. Oh, golly, just got hammered. Oh, it came off. That was a good one, man. Mm. Oh, shucks, dude. That was definitely the best one. Definitely the best one. Oh, we're getting back out there. Dude, Fletcher, I am lighting it up on the logs. Catch and release. Matt, you know where we need to go? That stump that's like halfway up that next turn. There's one. Oh, let's, oh, it's, oh, it came off. Ah, dang it. Oh, oh, oh my. What in the world? Try it again. Is that a fish? Oh yeah, that's a fish. Yeah, let's go. That's a chunky one. That one's got some weight. She's running right at me. She's hauling, man. She is hauling right at, oh, there she goes. Now she's turning. Boom. Let's go. On the bank. I knew there had to be one off at this point that was gonna fully commit on this thing. Miss you once, shame on you. Miss you twice, shame on me. By that time we got you, got you all the way into the bank and we're gonna get back out there, see if we can't get another bite. Cause it seems like there might be a pot of some active fish out there off the corner of that island. Off in a flash. She wasted no time. All right, Matt, time for you to catch one. I can give you a beetle spin if you want to catch some bluegill. Oh man, happy for Fletch, but this is just embarrassing. Getting schooled. I have faith I'm about to slay a huge one. I just don't think there's any fish in this pond. That's what it is. Oh yeah, that was a bullet right where I wanted that. That's a fish. Let's go. Another one. Come on, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm having too much fun right now. Just putting on a clinic for old Matty Ice over here. And that's a good fish. That's a good large mouth. Come on in here. Let's go, stay on. Oh, it's a chunker, Fletch. You got one? Yeah, this is a chunker. Finally, Matt's on the board. Hold on, I'm gonna get this out and we're gonna get check out Matt's fish. Dude, this is pretty big. There you go, bud. Let's get check out what Matt's got. 
Yo, this is for mate, man. This is every bit of three, I think. Matt's got a big one. I'm gonna grab the scale. Uh, if y'all wanted an instructional video on how not to land a fish, that was it. Let's go, guys. Told you I'd get the biggest of the day. I think this is over 214. Let's check that sucker out. I want to weigh it only because I want to hope it's over 214. <laughs> I don't know. It's going to be tight. Hey, for your sake, I hope it's over 214. I do too. It won't be a complete loss. <laughs> She's longer than my fish. Yeah, that was fat though. That was fat. Let's see what the damage is. Oh zero gosh. pounds, zero ounce. Yeah, it seems hold about on, right. Hold on one more time. Let me turn this off and back on. There we go. Three six. Oh, Ooh. there you go. Three pounds, six ounces. Let's go. New leader. Wait for the for the video's sake. <laughs> Give her a kiss, Dale. <laughs> it's kind of shallow, but she'd be good. Oh yeah, she right. This is a beautiful release, yeah. man. Textbook. Dude, you should have <laughs> seen you should have seen the land job. It was horrible, dude. I didn't know what to do. I kind of panicked. This is gonna sound bad, but I was like, I cannot not catch a fish, so I was more nervous than enjoying it. I was like, get this thing on the bank. She have the whole thing in her mouth? Whole entire whole entire thing. That's when you know you're throwing the right bait. You're like my dad. You don't you don't want to listen to me, and then when you finally do, you start catching them. Yeah, dude, for real. Although I'm not going to lie, I wasn't a big fan of it until a couple minutes ago. I was reeling too slow at first and letting it run on the bottom. That was my issue at the beginning. This bait's just OP. Honestly, <laughs> it's, it's insane. I don't know how it could get much better than this for, for pod fishing. Every time I throw it on in some kind of pond and just burn this thing, it just gets eaten. Does not matter what time of year. <clears throat> and then he like won't make the change. Oh, you got one? Yeah. Nice. Another good one? It feels good, but I can't tell. It feels really good, dude. Oh, dude, that thing is pulling. Oh, it's decent. That's a good one. That's a good one. That counts. Ooh. Dude, that was another three pounder. No, nah, I wasn't. That was like two and a half, probably. That was that was a good fish. <laughs> I was going to come get him for you. <laughs> this is quick release, man. I yeah. Count it. Hey, count it. Put it on the board. Dude, that was a good fish. I think that one was pushing three. It was not bigger than the first one. It it got I hooked it outside of the mouth, I think. And dude, it's pretty sick. You're you're gonna you're gonna hit the five thousand extra followers you need. Yeah, just for um, this one video. Yeah, your female demographic's gonna skyrocket <laughs> after skyrocket me, dude. after me in this video. <laughs> I'm gonna go from ninety percent males to ninety percent females yeah. after this video. Yeah, you'll just have to blur out my uh, wedding ring or else <laughs> they probably won't uh won't follow. Yeah, I'm gonna grab this rod. Let's walk around. You remember that stump right off that stump over there? Yeah. That that spot's a dynamite. Oh boy, we got the geese. Dude, I'm telling you, geese are one of the scariest birds out there. When I was like nine, I had a peanut butter sandwich in my hand one time, and they started attacking me, and I didn't know why. And uh, I have been traumatized of geese ever since. Oh, dude, we're about to get one right off this stump. Which spot are you casting? You casting out to the right? Oh, you see that fish? I see him. He's right there. There's like two pounds. Yeah, he's just right there. You go straight out. I'm going to go in front of this big uh, pile of sticks. Right, maybe I need to sling one out in front of these trees. I can't believe that bass was up this shallow. Like He was up there in the dirt. Because of that, There's one. Nice. Oh. Good one. Oh. Came off. I don't know. It might have been something else. Gosh, uh, that felt like a fish. That, that was a line. That's hey, I only need 20 more of those to catch up. Here. Yeah. Dude, if you PB me on the best stick of the day right at the end, I'm going to be pissed. So guys, I'm going to show you a strategy on how to catch more fish than your friends. Just walk in front of them where they're casting. So like, see, he's casting right here, going there. So you just walk to where he's casting and uh, throw it out a little bit further than he did. So watch this, guys. So just going to go right here. I'll flip that out there. So we've worked our way around to the far side of this little lake. This is actually the dam wall of the lake and it drops off really fast off the edge. So they can kind of go in and out of shallow water quickly. So I want to kind of just run down the, the side of this drop off and see if I can't get something. I like that basketball court edition. There's one. Yeah, it's a, it's a freaking monster. Yeah, come, come here, get him out. Come live him. 